Hello everyone. I would like to give you a brief introduction to the Think Finance Risk Manager, which you can open by clicking on this button here in the main window. Now in simple words, the Risk Manager will give you a more detailed version of the risk and PL analysis that you see down here in the risk and PL summary in the main window. Let's do an example. Let's assume I would like to know more about the risk of two structured products in my portfolio, the barrier reverse convertible and the capital protected certificate here. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting these two positions and I'm opening the risk manager. And what you can see is the risk manager contains four subpanes, which I will explain in the following. The first pane contains the so-called valued risk distribution. So here you see the joint valued risk distribution of the two structured products that I have imported, which is calculated by a historical simulation of the profit and loss over the past 500 trading days. I can customize this plot in terms of granularity of the plot and in terms of coverage of the probability distribution. I can also customize the plot with additional function down here. Basically, I can plot the distribution in terms of absolute changes of value of these products, which is this one, or in terms of percentage value changes, which is this function here. And instead of plotting the joint value risk distribution of both products, I can plot both products individually by clicking on the book to book view here. And here you see the profit and loss distribution of the capital protected certificate in red versus the profit and loss distribution of the barrier reverse convertible in blue. And you see these two products are quite different. Let's move to the next pane, the sensitivity analysis. What you see here is a plot of the market value of these two products as a function of the underlying risk factor, in this case, the underlying price. But I can also plot the market value as a function of, for example, the volatility. And both products depend on volatility because they contain options. Once again, I can change from plot in absolute terms to percentage values, and I can plot the joint payoff or these two products individually, which you see here. And here you see the payoff of the capital protected certificate and the barrier reverse convertible as a function of the underlying price. What is interesting to note that I can use the so-called time machine function here, which is this slider here, where I can basically move both products forward in time towards maturity to see how the payoff changes over time, or I can move backwards again in time. What I can also do here is instead of plotting the market value, I can plot the first or second derivative. For example, if I plot the first derivative, what you see here is effectively the delta of both products. And once again, I can use the time machine function to see how the delta moves when I'm moving the products forward in time. Let's move to the third pane, the value risk distribution. So here you see how the different asset classes contribute to the value risk. And you see these two products that I've imported are heavily dominated by equity risk. But what I can do here is I can drill down into the different asset classes, for example, I can look into fixed income and I see here within fixed income, there is a bond and a zero bond contributing to the value at risk of these two products. I can do a similar analysis for the P&L in the fourth pane. This is the P&L analysis and the breakdown into the different asset categories. And you see for the two products that I've imported, the equity component had a positive contribution to profit and loss, whereas the fixed income components within these two products had a negative contribution to the PL. And once again, I can drill down into the different details and different asset classes. 
That concludes my brief introduction to the Think Finance Risk Manager. If you would like to know more about the Risk Manager or any other th fi uh, Think Finance function, then please visit our website thinkfinance.eu. Thank you for watching and goodbye.